How is the harmonic series like a spiral? It's definitely not a spiral like the circle of fifths, and it's sharp octaves that gradually expand outward. In fact, the harmonic series is not a spiral in shape at all, because the harmonic series is really the number series, a straight line of numbers stretching out to infinity. So how is the harmonic series like a spiral? To see this, we have to understand how the series works and how it breaks down into three parts. There are three distinct sections in the harmonic series. The first part is the construction of its structural beams from which to build the chromatic musical scale. This takes place in harmonics 1 through 15. The second part is the generation of the chromatic musical scale. This happens in harmonics 16 through 32. And the third part starts in harmonic 33 and continues to infinity. It involves the subdivision of the chromatic scale intervals down into smaller and smaller subintervals. So let's look at each section more in depth. The first section of the harmonic series seems to be forming a structural base for the chromatic scale that's to come later in the second part. We'll put up a hint of that scale for reference. Harmonics 1 through 15 seem to be forming struts from which to later build this scale, and it does this by filling each interval with a mise. If you're unfamiliar with the important concept of the mise, please check the video explaining it that's linked in the description. So if we look at the boundary, a rather large interval between harmonics 1 and 16, we see that it encompasses the first four octaves of the series. Those octaves are based off the tonic of C at harmonic 1. Within this first section, we won't see any even-numbered harmonics generating a structural beam, because those are just octave repeats. Only the odd-numbered harmonics will generate these struts. If this is unclear, make sure to watch the video on how notes are generated as odd numbers in the harmonic series. There's a link to that in the description. The first largest and most stable structural beam to generate is harmonic 3. This is the mise of any octave of C, and harmonic 3 will mature into the octave value of 24 in the eventual scale, the G note and perfect fifth off the tonic of C. We now have two intervals between harmonics 1 and 16, and the next two beams divide them each in half. They're generated in harmonic order as numbers 5 and 7, and will eventually mature into the notes of E and B flat. At this point, you can see the series is generating beams from the new notes of the odd-numbered harmonics. 1, 3, 5, and 7. We now have a total of four intervals, and the next four odd-numbered harmonics will fill them. Harmonics 9, 11, 13, and 15. The notes of D, F-sharp, A-flat, and B. And that brings us to the end of the function of this first part of the harmonic series. The next part of the series lies between harmonics 16 and 32. This second section is where the series generates a full chromatic scale. Half of that scale has already been generated in harmonics 1 through 15 as the structural beams. Between harmonics 16 and 32, those notes now show up as all even-numbered harmonics because they're octave repeats of the harmonics generated earlier. And starting in harmonic 17, the series will generate another set of odd-numbered harmonics to fill in and complete this chromatic scale, which brings us to the end of the second part of the harmonic series. The last section of the harmonic series is really the rest of the harmonic series, 
It begins in harmonic 33 and extends out to infinity. Every note in the scale already generated will continue to double through its octaves forever as a set of even numbers. But every new odd number in the series will drill down between previously generated notes, subdividing their intervals into smaller and smaller segments. So while the existing notes grow and expand outward, forever doubling, the new notes compress their intervals, forever subdividing them. And it's here, in the third part, that we can perceive the harmonic series to be like a spiral, both expanding itself outward and compressing itself inward, all at once and forever. I'm grateful for any feedback. Please leave your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for watching.